Hello, hello, Leo. Mika here, the traveling tarot with your messages from spirit in regard to what's, whatever's on your mind. So these messages are for people with Leo placements. However, if you found this video, there's a message in it for you, so stick around. Um, they are timeless, but we are in February, so um, they can resonate from now till the next few weeks. Um, and if something doesn't resonate, don't be surprised <laughs> if it shows up. It just might not be something that you're quite aware of right now. So um, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to cleanse the space and then I'm going to jump right into the reading, okay? you're doing all right I hope everything is coming together swimmingly so when I saw that I was gonna do a Leo read um, I usually roll my little little ast astrid I mean um, astrology dice there and so Leo popped up and these cards jumped out in my head the divine timing Oracle so I'm gonna start by just pulling one of these and seeing why these cards jumped into my head for my beautiful Leo. What information did you want me to provide for them, Spirit? Oh my God. Okay. This says, and what's really crazy, you guys, is I have been getting this message about March since last summer no shit okay look what came out and this is why we started with you leo and it's beautiful because i i'm not leo they're not my main planets but i got leo, a lot of leo in my chart very soon around march cosine with next month what the fuck this is what spirit said <laughs> start with these look at this it first of all this is very soon Second of all, it says around March, which we're in February. I don't know if you guys know, but next month, it's March. Holy shit. Whatever this is, Leo, stay tuned, baby, because it's coming in and it's coming in hot. Wow. Ooh, I love that. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and keep pulling because now I'm very excited and I'm going to embrace my Leo over the next month. <laughs> Let's see what this is. No, but the truth is, is... I've been getting it for cancer too, and it would make sense because like I said, I do have a lot of Leo in my chart. That this would apply too, but I feel like a, a lot of new energy has been ushered in in 2024, and I feel like a lot of these signs are gonna be getting some type of, because the, the, the messages I've been getting is that March is gonna be the catalyst for remember how i said that this year is going to be ushering in energy that's going to be moving you towards your purpose so i am feeling like oh that's beautiful um i'm feeling like marge is marge <laughs> march i'm saying no march is going to be about that catalyst you're going to start seeing evidence of that and in real ways okay um, so we have detach showing up and we have focus. So let me put my glasses on here. Okay. It says you're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to, Leo. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Be more free flowing in, in just the how, not the what, but the how, okay? Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. Okay, so we have detach and then we have focus showing up as well. And it says you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working towards what is. It is literally that little perspective shift that will change the game for you and very soon. Okay, you're being asked to shift your you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step towards creating an amazing life okay 
you guys may have already been doing the work and been doing this anyway because something is coming to fruition within the next month. This is probably one of the clearest messages I've gotten since I started reading tarot. <laughs> or at least up there in the top ten. Next month, very soon, and around March, which is next month, okay? Detach from what... Detach from some things that you've been holding on to. Shift your perspective from you being here to discern what you don't want. Shift it to you being here to decide what you do want, and you will start seeing more of what you want and fast very soon with March showing up. And we have Keep Going, which is beautiful. And wow, this is the third reading that Give has shown up in, okay? We have Keep Going and Give. That's so beautiful. It says, It may feel as though you've been on this path or journey for so long there, my beautiful Leo. And you may even wonder if you are making any progress towards your dreams. This gentle, rem this, this message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. You're almost there. Wow. That's so beautiful. And it says, give. One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because someone, because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way that you can give today. This giving is one of the ways that you can open yourself up to this energy of receiving, okay? Because it is an ebb and flow. It's cyclical. It's as you give yourself and open yourself, you open yourself to receiving. So... Keep going and keep giving, okay? And just know that you're about to receive if you haven't already or already feeling this energy. And you might already know this, Leo, because you've been doing the work. Look what shows up. Celebrate at the bottom of the deck. Something is coming in and it is about to blow your mind. Okay? Full stop. <laughs> it's about to blow your mind and I want you to... You don't have to do anything. You can tell me to fuck off if you want to. But if you want to have your mind blown, be open to the message I'm giving you right now. Keep going. Detach from what's not working and stop focusing on what's not working and start focusing on how you'd like it to look. Even if you have to come up with a picture that you can step into for a few seconds a day to take yourself out of what you're living this is a part of visualization but whatever it is is getting ready to shift in march okay celebrate you're being asked to to celebrate recent accomplishments okay stop focusing on what didn't work and start focusing on what did work and see how you can scale that and i don't care if you're focused on a relationship i don't care if you're focused on uh creating a business. I don't care if you're focused on finding a new job, becoming a doctor, becoming a musician, becoming an whatever. The it is irrelevant, okay? Focus on what does work and see how you can scale that or build on that and stop focusing on the, the audition you didn't get, the time that this didn't work out, the time that you met with these people and this happened. Focus, shift your focus on what is working and focus on celebrating life, okay? You're being asked to celebrate recent accomplishments, no matter how big or small. Do something special to commemorate the moment. You deserve that and so much more, Leo. And that's the honest to goodness truth, okay? Spirit really wants to reiterate that even though it may feel like it's been a long, hard road or just a long road that you're almost there, I mean, keep going and very soon, and it does say you're almost there on this card, Leo. Accept and expect something to show up very soon, and we are, we are literally getting ready to find out what that is, okay? <laughs> so let's see. What else does Leo need to know as they move into this next month and this energy of expectancy? Of, of expecting this to be the truth. Wow. Discovering the truth. 
did it fly out when I said expecting this to be the truth? <laughs> you stand in the light of truth. <laughs> Very soon, you're going to be expecting, you're going to be experiencing some type of truth there, Leo. And it's going to be around March. Okay? So, if you will show me the love when this shows up, come back to this video and just comment, she damn show said that. She damn show said that. Okay? <laughs> just be like, she damn show said that. Okay? Very soon, next month in March, discovering the truth, standing in the light of truth, Okay, this is the thing. There has been something, again, that you need to detach yourself from that's got you, that may have had you at an impasse, okay? Spirit is just saying reflect on that for a moment and then redirect your focus. <laughs> you can look at that if you need to, just to kind of get the lesson, be like, damn. Then redirect the focus because very soon, if you keep going in the direction that you're going, you are going to experience this, this improvement that you've been seeking in your love life, in your relationships, in your money, in your business, in your connections, in your, the, the uh, opportunities. Okay, so just reflect on it as, as you need to. But, See what you can do about redirecting that energy because celebration is coming in. Celebration is coming in very soon. Celebration is something. And then we do have healing showing up at the, uh, once I pull that up. But so does miracles. I mean, I could keep going. Have faith. I mean, look. Leo, you have been in this space of healing. We all really have, to be honest, okay? And, we, and those of us that have kept going... We're getting ready to see the work that we've done come to fruition, okay? Those of us who have done the work and are continuing to do the work are getting ready to see why. <laughs> We're getting ready to see what our efforts, we're about to see the fruits of our efforts, okay? Especially if we're, do, if we're doing it from an authentic, truthful place. We have discovering truth. Remember, stand in the light of truth and you will see it. All is possible. Choosing your path. Again, some of, all of us are on different journeys, so a lot of us are in different places in our lives. But all of us have other people that are in the same place with us. <laughs> okay, so there's that people, those, the, the, as long as you're able to be your authentic self around these people, then yes, you know, interact and, 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 and connect with them in ways that, you know, will help you choose the path that works the best for you, okay? And it says, stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Stepping into power in this deck for me reminds me of you guys. It really is very king and queens of wands. King and queens of wands energy. Okay, and so that's just like kind of a confirmation there that as you discover your truth, not only are you choosing your the right path of all being possible, but you're actually stepping into your power and finding your strength. It's beautiful because the strength card in the tarot deck is the Leo card. So, in your uncovering treasures, beneath the surface lies great bounty, okay? Detach from, <coughs> from what hasn't been working. The only time you want to even spend on what hasn't been working is to find the bounty in it. Figure out what it was for. Take the, take the you know... Take the chin check and then move on to see what, you know, see, see it as the lesson and then move on to the path and the new truth that you're living right now, okay? And 
passion and pleasure. You guys are showing up already very heavy just in the oracle cards because you're very your wands energy, your fire energy. You're all about passion. You're all about um, confidence and exuberance, and you're the sun. <laughs> so yeah, um, just just savor savor your life. Celebrate. You're going to have reasons to celebrate. Something's coming in very soon. Literally March. Okay. So, um, and again, my reads are timeless. So, so if you do find this after March, next month also did show up. And I love you, Spirit. Thank you for inspiring me to say this. Those of you who find this video now, next month is going to be around March. But if you find this video any time after that, Later on down the line, Spirit wanted to confirm, I mean next month. <laughs> okay? Don't don't worry about the fact that we're now in July and you found this video and you're just like, well, she said March. No. I mean next month. Okay? That's what I mean, is what Spirit is saying. He, wanted, he they, them, we wanted me to double down on that okay very soon means next month it's just we happen to be in february so around march shows up too okay just to to reiterate for my beautiful leos okay let's see what other info we can receive from our beautiful spirits, angels, and guides in regards to Leo and the next, really the next month, I guess. It would be the next few weeks because we're already uh, into February, almost the 5th. So, oh yeah, I definitely need my glasses for these cards. Connect. I connect. And you know that's funny because <laughs> we have the detached card showing up and that's just about you detaching from what people things that and again use your intuition you know what makes you feel that's your intuition telling you this ain't it anymore and then it's telling you to connect to the people that will be along the path that you choose people and the things and most importantly connect to your spirit so that you can receive the guidance, the strength, everything that you need to keep going, okay? Because we have essence here showing up, okay? You want to tap into the essence of your being and move through this world in that way. And it may seem impossible, but not if you detach from the things that you that that aren't the truth, <laughs> that don't that don't line up with your truth anymore, Leo. Take take that control back by saying is this the truth what do how do I feel about it how's my body responding because you're the way you feel is not gonna lie to you okay the way you think about it the way you see it the way you you know influences that but how your body responds to it is not gonna lie to you okay and that's your first sign that maybe this thing is for you or it isn't for you okay Use that guidance. I'm gonna drop a card. <laughs> I want to hit my other oh, yeah, to hit my guitar. Okay. Channel. Okay. Yeah. This is the. This is about you connecting to your spirit and channeling the energy of what it is you are. Look. Detaching from a something you've been holding on to because you've been holding on to something a little bit too tightly, so it's been restricting that flow. So you're asking to, you're being asked to detach from that energy, but keep moving forward because you're pre you're preparing for the fruition of it. Okay, but as you detach, you connect and channel the energy of what is working now. Okay, what is working now, and you're doing it through passion, pleasure, and very soon you're about to experience it in your physical world. Okay, you, if you can tap into the energy of it now, you're experiencing it already. This is the beautiful thing about our imagination, is it, it has the power 
to bring that experience into right now by just imagining it the way that we want it. And the more that we do it, the more we are allowing it to harden into fact around us, okay? And I never lied. So let me get one more card from a beautiful Leo and then we'll jump right into the tarot. <coughs> Vision. See what I mean about, about keep going? <laughs> See it the way that you want to see it. The thing is, is the cards, tarot's not bullshit. This is the reason why I can say something and the card will come and cosign. Or I'll, a card will jump out and I'll know exactly what to say about it because I'm receiving, I'm channeling. I'm channeling through my connection with spirit and through your connection with spirit, you're being asked to channel and connect so that you can detach from whatever the outcome or the thing is you've been holding too tightly, you can stand in your light of truth and you can see the thing you've been holding on to or uh, holding on to tightly to. You can see the lesson in it with the bounty and then you can experience this change that's coming in very soon, next month, around March. <laughs> okay, I just want to be very clear there. But we have keep going and vision showing up. So don't stop, Leo. And you know what, to be honest, you guys aren't, you guys are not quitters. That's the beautiful thing about you because honestly, I have a lot of cancer in my, in my uh, chart as well. And my Leo and my Gemini influence, I feel really overshines the cancer, even though those are my sun and moon. Um, you know, I do have some cancer traits, but I feel like um, the, uh, my Leo energy is like, hell yeah. And I feel like my Gemini energy is like, hey. So, <laughs> <coughs> in any event, keep going, okay? Don't lose sight of your vision and don't let somebody else paint that picture for you, okay? And it doesn't matter what you've already been doing, start now. Because very soon is coming, very soon, right now, next month. They're not trying to be vague here and just say, very soon, no, oh, ha ha, everything's good. No, they're saying, very soon, next month. <laughs> next month. And when I say very soon, it's next month. Not like, whenever, but pretty soon. No, very soon, next month. And uh, some of you guys might be into solo magic or you might even just look into that. Look, burning a candle is setting an intention saying affirmations, chanting, anything like that is solo magic, ultimately, because if you're doing that, then you understand energy and you're using it in some way. Even witchcraft is considered magic. <laughs> I mean, it's considered, it's all just using the energy to improve our life, okay? It's just really been given a different perspective and so I just want to clarify that, you know, it's all magic and it's all solo magic. Prayer, affirmations, focus, visualization, all of it is, okay? So don't be turned off by the word magic. Okay there, Leo. Let's see, what other information can I give my lovely Leos as, I'm, as they hold to their vision and keep going? Okay? King of Swords. Truth. <laughs> More things about the truth. More things about clarity, and something is going to be coming in very soon that's going to help you see things very, very clearly. Very, very clearly. Remember I said in March, the, 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 the messages that I had been getting for March um, since last summer have been, uh, you know, clarity, uh, truth, um, putting you on the path to your purpose now so this is what's it, the time is right now is all I'm saying the time is right now to live your truth but and use that truth to create your vision okay use that truth to create your vision because as you discover that truth you're using that intellectual power to create it the way that you want it even visualizing you're using that solo magic, which was at the bottom of this deck. Even visualizing is using so is using magic. It's solo magic. Burning incense, believe it or not. Burning candles. 
really your intention, praying, writing affirmations, journaling, you know, things like that. But you see how this Ten of Wands is coming in. It's an ending to whatever this is you've been holding on to. And as you do cut that energy, you, you drop some of these wands, especially as you move towards your truth. But look, all this is coming into being here as you connect, keep going to your vision, okay? Your vision is really coming into being right now. It's not even coming into being, it's been. <laughs> okay, let me, just, let me just get some goddamn perspective here. Your vision is been, it's done. We live on a surface of everything, every possible outcome. We are creating the outcomes that we are receiving with our focus. So if we're focused on some type of specific outcome, it may not be the path of least resistance to that outcome in terms of how. Okay, so if we can, picture, if we can just paint the picture and, st and focus on the vision of how we see it, we'll be guided to the right actions to take and as long as we are living our authentic truth we'll be able to know that we're taking the right steps and be confident in that okay so you'll be able to go into this new cycle with that ten of wands showing up without so many wands in your hands okay especially as you surrender to this energy you receive that enlightenment there with the, with the uh, hanged with the hanged woman showing up Okay, it's about surrendering to the energy. It's about shifting your perspective and discovering your truth. Okay, that's especially with that King of Swords energy. It's all about taking that sword of truth and cutting away things that no longer cotton to who he is now. But also being able to use that intellectual power because he's receiving clarity. You see, he's got he's receiving clarity, and that's definitely what the crowns represent. They definitely represent um, enlightenment or clarity, and that's why she's also receiving clarity by just surrendering and also choosing to allow herself to possibly see things from a different perspective. But look what comes in for you there, my beautiful Leo. New, overwhelming emotion over excuse me oh not over overflowing <laughs> overwhelming too this is some type of beautiful thing that's coming in as you continue to be truthful to and hold to your vision we got keep going open yourself up to give and receive detach from something you've been holding on to mostly an outcome and understand that the picture that you painted is coming into being, but there's a path of least resistance that may not be what you, how you see it is, okay? So if you can be a little more free-flowing with that giving and receiving, that ebb and flow, and the how, the what, comes into being very soon. And as I've said about a godzillion times <laughs> since this read began and that those three cards came out at the beginning very soon is next month and they double downed on that by saying around March of next month okay so please take my word for it start looking for it start looking for that evidence detach from de detach from the outcome and just see the picture the way you want to see it and step into the picture Leo, step into that picture and be free-flowing, okay? And I promise you, you're going to see some evidence of this around March. There's going to be a big shift coming in March. That's too many cards. There's going to be a big shift coming in March. That's going to put you, That's especially for those that have really been doing the work, that is going to put you on the path to where you're headed, to the new. This is new information coming in, new inspiration to maybe try something new. Actually, this is what's going to happen as you shift your perspective, okay, and detach from, and and detach from, thank you for that, and detach from um, the outcome. You're going to find a new path to it where you're going to receive the enlightenment that's going to find the new path to it with this page of wands coming in, okay? 
You know, you might have thought it was supposed to be left, then right, then left, but no, if you go right, then left, then right, that's going to take you not only directly to it easier, but you're going to have so much more fun and fulfillment and meet the right people along the way, and it's not going to be this re uh, resistance-filled path because you're letting yourself be guided to it, okay? So open yourself up to maybe it being something different there, Page of Wands, okay? I mean, uh, <laughs> Leo, Leo, it's fire energy. So uh, open yourself up to it possibly being something else there, Leo. A different path, not the what, but the how, okay? Surrender to it and just step into your truth. Step into your power. Use that truth to create. And you're going to see some evidence of this stuff very soon around March or next month if you're seeing this after March. The Six of Coins showing up about that that gift, that gift that's coming in. Maybe it is sometime because we do have give showing up. We did have give showing up. So there was Six of Pentacles typically represents spiritual gifts or gifts from the universe or just giving and receiving. Staying free flowing to where you're openly and graciously giving and you're openly and graciously receiving, okay? Stay grounded in gratitude and keep going. And detach from the outcome and just know that very soon you're going to have the clarity that you're seeking. There, my beautiful Leo. And we have the nine of coins showing up, which is beautiful because it's the nine of pentacles, which is about self-sufficiency sorry, <laughs> and stability. And it's about abundance and it shows up with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So... Could be a relationship, could be some type of a balanced partnership coming in for you there, beautiful Leo. I'm a beautiful Leo or person watching this. But whatever it is, it's going to be abundant. It's going to be opulent and it's going to... It's going to really make you feel confident and self-sufficient. Okay, so expect, expect some type of beautiful thing to come in here, okay, because... With that Knight of Pentacles showing up with that Two of Cups, even if it is a relationship, it's going to be very balanced and it's still going to make you feel self-sufficient and independent. So you're going to be able to open yourself up to it because, as I always say in every relationship, it should be two free people deciding to walk together because they want to. There shouldn't be any other saving or any other really reason to do it even if there's kids <laughs> because an unhappy environment is not conducive to happy raising and happy childhood and a happy childhood okay and I'm gonna pull uh, I'm already at 32 minutes but I'm still gonna go ahead and pull just a couple more of cards for you my beautiful Leo just to see if there's any energy that spirit wants to double down and then I'm gonna send you off with the power of love and um Oh, cool. Spirit gave me all three. And um, a self, uh, self-care self card. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yeah, Spirit is just saying. We got the Five of Pentacles showing up. So, if you are in this energy right now, just know that help is on the way. Because the Five of Pentacles can typically uh, represent feeling, uh, feeling left out in the cold or abandoned. Definitely lack or shortage consciousness. So Spirit is asking you to detach from this energy and keep going. Even if you need to go within, which makes sense that the hermit would show up with the hanged woman showing up, okay? It's time for you to surrender for a moment, go within, let go of and detach from what's not working anymore. What's making you even, anything that's making you feel even left out in the cold there, my beautiful Leo, okay? Because we have... Motion forward with the Eight of Wands. We have obstacles being cleared, especially as you detach from the out um, from from the outcome or how. Most importantly, how okay? Because you do get to paint that picture, and it does turn out the way you want it. But you need to have a positive perspective on it, or it will turn out the way you want it, which is with or the way you see it, which is not the way you want it. <laughs> okay. Also, Eight of Wands could represent some type of travel, but it definitely represents swift movement and momentum. So just expect that. And with the Two of Pentacles showing up at the bottom of the deck, 
there's going to be some type of swift movement towards balance, okay? Especially as you go within, release and detach yourself from anything that feels like lack, shortage, consciousness, or loss, okay? Even if you have lost some things, try to see those from a different perspective and try to release it as you can. But the truth is, is if you can see it as a different from a different perspective, then just know that there is going to be some type of balance brought into this situation soon. And very, very soon. Okay, there, my beautiful Leo. So hang in there. Help is on the way. Even if you do feel very Five of Pentacles right now, and you're having a tough time detaching from this energy, just know that help is on the way, okay? So I hope that something did resonate. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. Um, I just posted a new Divine Shuffle podcast. Also, please check out my live tab. I have some really cool meditations on there, some live readings that I do. Um, it's been on Sundays, so it's been on the weekends. So just make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when I do go live. Um, I've been doing a weekly collective read, but I'm going to actually mix in the Divine Shuffle podcast. So it's going to be a little bit more open forum. It'll still be the the collective reading, but I wanted to open up after the reading and, and discuss a topic with whoever's there in the chat. So um, yeah, so check me out on Sundays as well. Um, that's when I've been doing the reads. So let's see what information Spirit wants to provide with this power of love. And then uh, I'll send you off the self-care card. Respect. This card has also been very much showing up because it's really about everyone understanding that everybody has a different perspective. You value everyone's unique perspective perspective on the path to love. And as you open yourself up and love and respect that, the momentum, it obstacles clear. Because those obstacles are typically self-imposed. Okay, but you are moving towards some type of self-sufficiency and stability in whatever it is you're focused on. And there's going to be a balanced partnership showing up with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of um, Cups. Okay, and then we have elevation showing up as well. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love, and that is what is going to bring you to this manifestation that's coming in next month. Okay, Leo? So I am going to send you off with a self-care card. Really appreciate that I get to do this for you guys, and I hope that you guys will see evidence of this soon. We have movement. Turn on some music and dance. Shake your butt, <laughs> get some exercise. That's the fastest way out of whatever energy that you might be feeling that you don't want to feel, or if you want to even just raise your vibration, because remember, elevation showed up. And it says, you're making conscious decisions to raise your vibration of love, and that's one way to do it. Movement and then rest. Some of you guys need to hear that. Maybe everybody, maybe you guys all need to hear that, yeah, get up, get on up and dance. But also make sure you're taking enough, enough care of yourself and getting some rest. So, hope something did resonate. I am Mika, the Traveling Tarot. I'm so blessed that I get to do this for you guys. Truly thankful. I love you. Take care of each other. Peace.